Hello and welcome to Fun with Harmonics. Harmonics on the flute are basically produced by controlled overblowing. And your whole body is involved in this, from your embouchure to your entire breathing apparatus. So I like to start off with a body mapping exercise. And take your right hand, place it at the base of your jaw, and just gently touch your throat. Now pick any fingering from the left hand and see how it feels when you overblow. Ideally, you want this part of your throat to be as relaxed and low as is comfortable for you. Of course, when you're normally playing, it's going to move. That's completely normal. This is just an awareness exercise. Don't force yourself into holding on to any one particular position. Now, I have a series of exercises for which there is a link below, and you can follow along. Everything is written out except for the things that are copyrighted. If you are new, to harmonics or your students are new to harmonics, I like to start with the first exercise because it alternates between normal fingering and harmonic fingerings. And that way you're certain not to skip a partial going up or down. The next exercise goes from the third partial to the second partial, and then from the third partial up to the fourth partial. And from this E flat, although I haven't written it out, if you have open holes on the flute, use them and go up microtonally. And don't forget to add playful articulations. Now, the next exercise is fun because it takes a note from the third octave and plays it with different fundamentals. Adding to that articulation, flutter tongue, and a lot of vibrato to really get you going. It starts off with an E overblown from an A. Great for learning Edgar Varez, any of his music. Now, the next exercise uh, involves using the voice, and it can be a lot of fun if you hold a low sung pitch and then sweep up and down the harmonic series. You might notice when you do this that your embouchure is going to have to work a little bit more, coming farther forward in order to give yourself a faster airstream, and you're going to have to consciously relax and maybe lower your larynx in order to stay on the low pitch. Now, it doesn't matter which octave you sing in. So if you can sing a low note, while playing an upper partial, you're really on your way to having an excellent third octave and fourth octave technique. Now, the next exercise I love to do when I have very little time to warm up because you add trills to the harmonic series and that gets your fingers and everything really going. Now, as a closing concept, I think it's a fun idea to take already published exercises and repurpose them. So if you take a harmonics exercise and repurpose it as an articulation exercise and vice versa. For example, in Robert Vick's Tone Development Through Extended Techniques on page 19, he has an Alberti bass harmonics exercise, which I like to do as an articulation exercise. And again, if you have open holes from the E flat, use them and go up and down microtonally. Another 
another example would be from Paul Edmund Davies' 28-day warm-up book. On page 94, he has an articulation exercise, which in certain registers works really well as a harmonics exercise. If you take the line on E-flat and overblow the E-flat as a B-flat, see what happens. So take these ideas, run with them, and see where they take you. All right, happy practicing.